Hey everyone, got a pen review for you guys. This pen was given to me by a friend of mine. This is a Nemesine Neutrino Jet Black. Uh, this is a all steel pen. It's really, really nice. Kind of small, uh, but that's kind of the point. Uh, it's, um, it's. I think it's made for people that prefer small pens, smaller pens, and maybe people with smaller hands and such. So I'm gonna show you the pen really quickly uh, and uh, do a little writing sample and we'll call that good. So uh, this pen is is about the same size as like a Pilot Metropolitan pen. Uh, it's it's a little heavier because of the, the construction, the, the steel construction. The uh, top or the cap uh, spins off and uh, when you take it off it's it knocks out about half the weight so a lot of the weights in that cap uh, once the caps off it's not too terribly heavy um, it's very nice uh, size but the uh, you know holding it I can't hold it where this grip is uh, it's it's way too small I actually find that it's more comfortable holding this pin up in the body just because of of um, just maybe my grip I also have huge hands and uh, and if if I hold it down here I end up standing the pin almost straight up and uh, I can do a writing sample of both but uh, let's just say sample now writing with you know holding the the uh, the grip the pin is almost stood straight up and it writes nicely uh, but for me, holding it back here with it a little bit of angle, it uh, I think it writes a little nicer. So uh, the ink, it, it disperses ink about the same amount. Uh, I just I just find it easier because I can actually see what I'm writing instead of my hand being in the way. Anyway, so it's a small pen. I think we've established that. This is a fine nib. There you can see the F on the nib. It flows nicely. Uh, this is the Diamine Enchanted Ocean ink. This is one of the shimmering inks. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews as far as whether they uh, they clog up the uh, the nibs. I really haven't found that to be an issue. Uh, this is just a really smooth writing pen, and uh, the ink has done well. It's the only ink I've ever had in it, so uh, I've got this I got this sample from Goulet Pens. I like the color. It's like a really dark navy almost black uh, with a little bit of a shimmering quality to it and uh, it it does really well so uh, the only issue I've had is it, it's kind of a dry nib uh, so there are times where it it's hard to get started um, if it's been a day since I've written with it uh, I might have to dab it on like a paper towel get some ink flowing and then it then it writes fine um, it writes fine once I get some ink flowing. Uh, also, I've had some issues with the reverse writing. Uh, sometimes it does it does fine. Uh, you can see where it uh, it's it's not really writing well. Reverse writing there, uh, but I can tap it. Uh, I can tap it and get it get it moving, and it might it might do better reverse writing. Let's see no not not much angling angling it helps a little bit but you can see how it has issues reverse writing i've had it write better than that reverse writing but you can see where uh it, it's not as smooth on the reverse side plus it drags a fair amount um uh anyway you can also have um issues with it starting on on the top side like this uh, but i found that having like i said having this like a pepper towel close to get ink started uh really uh allows it to start and stay flowing fairly easily so anyway so you can see the samples there uh, i'll do like a bold if you if you just take your time you can do a really bold line and uh, it actually writes really nicely using a slow handwriting. 
maybe the nicest is with the slower handwriting. Um, anyway, the, the nib, like I said, is very smooth, except for on the reverse writing, it doesn't want to really write well there. Um, once I get a lot of ink flowing through it, I'm sure it probably would write better on the reverse side. It's probably something I'm doing. It's, it's probably something that I am uh, causing. So this is an uh, cartridge converter and uh, this is this is the uh, converter here. Uh, like I said, it has the uh, diamine ink in it. Uh, it also takes the international cartridges and uh, I don't have any of those to give an example, but, uh, but the converter is really simple and easy to uh, fill with. Uh, especially if you're using these little sample bottles uh, it's it's a it's a really nice size for the sample bottles so uh, okay so that's really all I've got the uh, you know when you're using this pen sorry when you're using this pen um, to me it's it's a very smooth rider but I have to hold it in the body of the pen especially if I have the cap on it like this the weight is far it's way out of balance unless I hold it way back here and and that might be okay uh, it just doesn't lend to really consistent writing writing that far from the paper I, I like to be closer to the paper but if I am it, it seems like the pen keeps wanting to run away from me uh, which is why I tend to write on this with this one at least with the uh, cap off the back so uh, anyway hopefully that's helpful for you uh, this pen, I think I told you it retails for about 40 bucks, and uh, definitely a nice pen. Um, I would buy one had I not been given one. Uh, it's it's a really great pen. Uh, like I said, the only issues I have were with the reverse writing, and uh, and I'm sure that that's probably due to my own personal uh, inexperience with the fountain pens, uh, but maybe. You know, some of you can shed some light on what I'm doing wrong or how I can uh, better use this this uh, neutrino uh, to its full potential. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to know about this pen. Because like I said, this is only like my second pen review. So uh, please, I, I know I'm leaving a ton of stuff out. and uh, But hopefully this is going to be enough information to kind of help you guys make decisions on purchases and whatnot. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. God bless.